In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to add HTML code to your PHP file. Whether you are an experienced developer or whether you are a person who has uh, bare basics knowledge of uh, PHP, there are times when you would need to include HTML in your PHP code so that it could be output to your browser and seen on your website. It is not very difficult to add HTML code to your PHP file. Let me show you how to do that. I have this uh, code, code Lobster PHP edition where I can create a PHP file. You can also use any uh, open source editor like Notepad++ but I prefer this because there are uh, a lot of things that it does to help me code faster anyway so moving on I will create a file and I will go to new and then I will create a PHP file so as you can see uh, it's got some name here which I'm going to change and it has already got PHP tags so PHP tags means that whatever you are going to type in here will be interpreted by the server as PHP code and it will be following the rules of PHP while it is processing that so for example I'll just start writing some code I'll write a function for example I write a simple echo call for example echo this is a comment so what it will do is it will print this statement out in the browser when I run this PHP file. To do that, I will just save it as, uh, let's say call it code HTML dot PHP. Now it is saved as code HTML dot PHP. I will go to my uh, local host and I will try to run it. localhost php test it is located in the php test folder and then uh, it is uh, code html.php so i'm running the site on localhost uh, the file is saved in the php test folder and code html.php is the file name we gave to the file I'll just run it and you can see this is a comment has been output by this code that we have placed here if you want to run this inside a function we have to do one very simple thing we have to add a keyword call as function and we say that function uh, we call it output underscore code we start curly braces and the code lobster software automatically adds the ending curly brace and we just copy this whole statement and add it to the function we format it and save it and we go back to the browser and we check out what is going to happen now can you guess actually nothing will be output because we have not used this function we have just declared it so to use this function we have to write it like this output underscore code you can write it here or you can write it here let us check what what is going to happen as you can see this function gets called and the statement is output now what do we have to do if we have to output a HTML comment or HTML code in this file so what do we do is there are two ways of doing it we can add something here 
for example uh, a href equal to and we'll close the tag let us see what happens after we save this we will run this and you can see the, this HTML has been added to the PHP file the output of the PHP file this is a very simple way of adding HTML to PHP file but the problem is that it still does not Added dynamically what if I want to take this statement and put it under this function so that only when I call this function this statement comes out if I save this and I run this thing on the browser you'll find that this will give an error because PHP does not understand what you are trying to give it so what is the option the option is to add the tags the PHP tags that we talked about and to separate out HTML and PHP in such a way that the server interprets only PHP code and outputs the HTML code so we will do one thing we'll just close the opening tag of PHP with the closing tag just like this here since we have closed it this code becomes unusable and if you run it again it will still give an error because it is a PHP code and the code is not consistent right now to make it consistent we will create an opening tag here now as you can see everything is well balanced the opening tag here is being closed there's some HTML code and then there's the opening tag and the closing tag we will save this file and we will run it again let's see what happens this time before that we can add something like this is a comment from inside function so that it makes it more clear and we'll save it again and run the PHP file can you see that this is a comment from inside the function and this tag is uh, sorry uh, this hyperlink is coming from inside the function so in essentially we have added HTML code right in the PHP file so that we can output it whenever we need we desire so you can add any kind of HTML tag and uh, you can add something like image you can add a paragraph everything will be outputted provided you don't forget to balance out the tags so starting tag remember that is uh, is a greater than sign and question mark and sorry less than sign question mark and the in the word PHP and the closing tag is question mark and greater than sign so that's it I think it makes life very easy for uh, for you and you can go ahead and create your own HTML code inside your files. Thank you.